Lars. How do you know my name? Open the door. Why try to stave off the inevitable? Gran will soon have me untied, and together, we'll all go to see our mistress. I already met two boys upstairs. I don't think they were too glad to have met you. Pay no mind to them. They are just waste material. You have a very different role to play. All the girls were ordered to bring you in alive and unharmed. I wonder what fate awaits me. We do not know. Lars, we simply serve and carry out the orders of our mistress. What's your name? My name is Sophie. I am a miller's daughter. Well, I was. Our wonderful community began with me. Tell me about it. I want to know everything. I have nothing to hide. The mistress spoke to me in the forest, around a year ago now. First, she taught me about creation and the cosmos. I finally got answers to questions that had plagued me since childhood. Questions that confounded my father. And during one visit, the mistress took me to an abandoned house, where I made the first diadem following her instructions, fusing her consciousness with my own. Let me free you before your mind is lost forever. The stained glass is blindingly beautiful. A broad spruce tree, a fire-breathing dragon, a brave knight, and a tall tower. It's a pity it's so dark here.
Of course I can see you. You're everywhere. We didn't dare hope we could communicate with a living creature. Who are you? My name is Lars. I'm searching for my little sister. We know of your plight. The whole forest suffers, but we... We are the guardians of the forest. Since time immemorial, we have guarded our land against evil. But now we are just puppets in the claws of a sorceress. She turned us into weapons that savagely wiped out all the denizens of the forest. A sorceress? So it's not a demon? She's a human being, or rather, she once had a human form. Now she lives as a butterfly. I met her recently, in a cave. You are lucky to still be alive. She uses boys as cocoons for her larvae, which grow into bloodthirsty butterflies. The girls used them to take over our bodies. A butterfly can easily control the mind and body of the creature it inhabits, slowly eating it from the inside out. We have already lost hope of ever returning to our mutilated bodies. All we want is to save our forest. But... how? There is a wizard in these lands. He is already very old and... We are not even sure if he still lives. Five years ago, it was he who turned the sorceress into a butterfly. But even in that harmless form, she managed to acquire dark power. And immediately after those events, the wizard fell into a deep depression and retreated into seclusion somewhere in the swamp. Go to him. Perhaps you are the one destined to play a decisive role in saving the forest. For it is not by chance that you came to be here and were able to speak to us. Outside you will find a well. It is a magical system we built for moving around the forest. I sense our meeting will soon be ended. Boy, you hold not only your sister's fate in your hands, but the fate of the whole forest as well. I fear you are the only one who has come this close to finding the answer. You must see this mission through to the end. Good luck. You have a brave heart. You will save us.